At the IKEA store Hyderabad, I've always noticed people grabbing a bite at the cafeteria or enjoying a meal at the restaurant along with a cup of coffee or cold drinks. Their coffee being popular, recently they started selling coffee in the Hyderabad store both in the form of coffee bean as well as coffee powder. I bought this coffee from there during my visit as I wanted to get to know how it tastes when made at home. This is Patar, their espresso variety of coffee powder. Even before I got the uh, coffee powder, I purchased this uh, coffee tea maker, Upheta. It is also called a plunger. So with this introduction, I am sure you guessed it right, is I am going to show making of espresso coffee using this Patar espresso coffee in this Upheta coffee maker. So let me show how to do it. I have used this coffee maker uh, and I have tried it using our uh, Indian coffee powder which I buy. I wanted to try with this IKEA coffee. So I am going to do it now. Let's see how to do it. Along with this coffee powder, I also bought this uh, kit, a pack of two items called the Tempera Rad. This is actually a coffee measure, a spoon and a clip. Both these items are sold uh, along with the coffee powder near the cafeteria area but you get the coffee maker and this kit inside the store as well this uh, espresso coffee powder is uh, totally organically grown and it is made up of 100% uh, uh, arabica beans you can see how it is used there's a spoon, there's a clip you can cl use this clip to uh, seal the packet once opened both are made of uh, stainless steel. This is a 250 gram pack. Uh, it is a rich and intense dark coffee mainly used to make espresso. So there is a instruction manual along with this uh, coffee tea maker, Upheta. This is the plunger. This is what will uh, be pressing on the coffee powder. You can separate it like this and because it is made of glass, it is dishwasher safe, it's easy to clean by separating them and also instructions for use is given in this uh, booklet as to how to make coffee or tea in this uh, coffee maker. Actually I would like to tell about how it is to be done uh, using this coffee maker even before I get started. Uh, if you are going to use for the first time before uh, starting you have to wash and uh, clean thoroughly. Uh, before uh, making the coffee or tea, remove the plunger warm this coffee pot by uh, rinsing it with uh, hot water after that you have to add the ground coffee powder or tea depending on what you want to make and then you top it with uh, hot water just below 100 degrees centigrade you pour water till the spout and then just keep it covered like this for a minute or two so that the water and uh, powder mix and then use a plunger to press it hard on the powder so that the espresso is uh, extracted. I have already rinsed the pot. I have to see how strong it's going to be. I'll seal it with this now so that the aroma is not lost. I have got a flask full of uh, hot water which I am going to use for pouring. I'll stir it lightly, cover it for a minute. Espresso is actually coffee expressed or forced by uh, pressing small quantity of uh, boiling water over the ground coffee powder. So now using the plunger we can uh, plunge it. You put pressure on that and so the espresso is ready You pour it directly into the cups. And you can have it the way you want as an espresso itself or as a cappuccino or a latte or americano i've got your steamed milk i'll pour in one of these this is kind of latte you can say that's a cappuccino pour water so that this becomes an americano this is the cappuccino there's the frothing required so i'm doing with the product the frother which i have i've shown in my earlier video 
So this is how you can do your latte or cappuccino at home without a machine. So I have kept uh, different varieties of coffee. This may not be the professional way it is to be done. But this is my first attempt to make uh, different varieties of coffee at home using the espresso powder of uh, IKEA, the patar. So you can have it as it is or you can add sugar to taste. I hope you like my maiden attempt of making espresso coffee using IKEA coffee powder patar in IKEA coffee maker. Please look out for more such interesting videos from my channel. And if you have liked it, uh, share your thoughts and comments in the comment section. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for all your support. Once again, thanks for watching.